Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. You are letting me down. Don't watch this video, you forget liking the video. When you like the video, you support the work that I'm doing. I will appreciate you so much for your support. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is not in the country. Now this evening, the Gadi Gashagwa, amepanda nege, ameenda Rwanda. Musali Amdavadi is not in the country. Now, we are having a crisis of doctors, work of strike, took a crisis in agriculture sector. We are having a crisis all over the country. Yet, wale wanajita walichaguliwa, kazi yao ni kutembea tu, ni kutembea tu. Now, regardi kashangwa, jioni siku ya leo. Amepanda nege kuenda Rwanda. What is the basis of Gachagua going to Rwanda? Because that is what I want to understand, ladies and gentlemen. If truly, how do you go to the house? Do you want to 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 go to the house? What they are doing is to take care of us, to take care of us, to take care of us, and to take care of us, to take care of us, to take care of us, Hiyo ndio story ya jaba tunaambiwa sahi. You know? We are having leaders tuliwachagua lakini kutembea. Ni kutembea tu. So when you look at even the expense these people are using. Ni pesa zetu. Wewe regarding shabu akienda Rwanda, kwani ameenda na pesa zake? Si ndio amepanda ndege ndege ya Air Force. Ndio mempeleka wapi? Mempeleka Rwanda. Ameenda na Kenya Airways. Ameenda na private jet. Hapana, ni mali ya umma hao watu wanatumia kujienjoy nayo. Tukiongea saa hii, ameenda na wabunge kama kumi. Hao wabunge kama kumi, lazima wataenda warentiwe hoteli huko Rwanda. Na hiyo ni pesa ya wakenya wanatumia. When look at William Ruto's visit also. The other time he was in Senegal. Not not Senegal, Ghana, I'm sorry. You know, William Ruto was in Ghana. From Ghana, a kind of direct to Guinea-Bissau. A Jarudi. Bada Jarudi. Nujue, wakati alikuwa natoka kienda Ghana, alikuwa na delegates. Wakati alikuwa Ghana, akienda Guinea-Bissau, hako na delegates. Are we having a country here? Tuko na inchi hapa. You know, swali mimi na jiuliza. Tuko na inchi hapa kwa sababu tukiangalia vizuri kazi zao ni ku travel tu. Ku travel tu. Today come out and ask William Ruto. Mbona umekuwa uki travel sana kwa sababu ile percentage this man has traveled ni mingi kuliko hata vile au mafama president wamekuwa ki travel. Ukiangalia pesa yenye hao watu wamekopa ni pesa nyingi sana. Kwa ile muda tu wamekuwa kwa ofisi ukilinganisha na ile muda uhuru mgeke Kenyatta alikuwa kwa ofisi ile muda Mwai Kibaki alikuwa kwa ofisi this regime let me call them rogue regime Barack Muluka <laughs> described this government as gangster banditry regime and rogue government now i want to assist Barack Muluka to say this if truly this is the government we are having Kenyans I'm so worried. I'm so worried if this is the government we are having. Because we cannot elect politicians who are tourists. We cannot elect leaders who are tourists. Nani ana resolve the issue of doctors? At the same time, the cabinet ministers wamechaguliwa si hata kuchaguliwa, waliappointiwa. Wameshindwa kufanya kazi. Sasa na umesha hata kuweka House in order, ime mshinda. Health ministry iko na crisis, left, right, center. Na hawa watu nae wanavunga virago yao, mungina naena Rwanda, mungina naena wapi, gini bisao. Musali ya mudabadi ya yuko, kabinetu wengine pia wako. We have here a country here. Then, let them come out, decide that let the country be led by military. 
Wacha inchi yongozo na military. We cannot afford having leaders using our resources on their own benefit. Can you tell me exactly what is the basis of Gravi Gashawa going to Rwanda? Si angekua hata kama ni deputy president angepata information from the president na directive can they have a meeting yenye tazama tunda madaktari warudi musuptali. I'm telling you today it is this hustlers ambao wanaumia kwa ajili ya hii issue ya Dr. Strike. Wa dosia wa umi, I'm telling you the truth. You want to tell me today, Susan Naomisha na umi, akisikuwa tu mgonjwa, atapeleko usupitali gani? Private. Na atalipiwa pesa mingi sana. But aslas, walidanganywa, wakambiwa, this government is yours. Hakuna pesa ya basaris, hakuna pesa ya capitation, hakuna pesa ya kulipa maintenance, doctors, hakuna kurudisha kutimiza ima CBA ya ma doctors. Yani wa Kenya. Are we having leaders here? Are we having leaders here? Because, because yani ata mimi huwa na shindwa. If truly we are having leaders, this is how the country should behave. Ebu niambie ile trips msebe ni amekua na ya. Niambie trips ya insamia sulu amekua na ya. Nipe trips yenye Rwanda president amekua na ya pulka gani. Then you compare with our leaders here in the country. They are collecting more revenue than even other regime yenye mepita. I want to confirm to you today. Kama ni serikali ambaye inasanya taxes mingi ni ii regime ya William Ruto. Na umewai juuliza hizi pesa zinaena wapi? Sindo inawabeba kwa kuenda inje. Hizi ndio pesa regali ya shabu anatebea na kutoka Nairobi kuenda Mombasa na ndege na watu kama 20. Kutembea kutoka hapa mpaka Sijiga Risa na watu 20 kwa ndege. Yaani kazi yao ni tourist. These people are tourist. They told you they are solution to our problems. Yaani kutembea sasa ndio solution. Then who is now people will tell me si CDF ako. The chief defense of forces si ako. Mugola ako. Matiangi Uh, not matiangi nimezoea matiangi kidiki kiture tuko na inspector general police so that is how regarding the shago ana william ruto anataka kurul kenya nataka niwaambie wa kenya kama mtafanya makosa kubwa ni kuchagua tena hii serikali ya william samuel ruto na mtanyonywa mnyonywe ya mwisho kwa sababu watajua ah hii sasa ni kukula kwa sababu kama mbaya ni mbaya wanajua kwamba warudi kama ni makosa mtafanya wa Kenya ukwe kabila gani kutoka Mount Kenya kutoka Western kutoka Nyanza kutoka Ukambani kutoka Coastal kutoka Nairobi mpange laini mpigie wakina William Ruto kura i know mwingine ataumia na kuja kusema upusi hapo kwa comment section below sema tu sema tu we don't care but we are telling you the truth ile unga unanunua pale Mombasa ukinitusi ni ile unga nanunua hapa Nairobi. Ile unga mtu ananunua Western ndio mimi pia nanunua hapa Murang'a. You know? We ile unga sukari unanunua Mombasa the same to sukari tunanunua wapi Kakamega. So tuache hii chip. You know, chip argument. This government is incompetent, they are rogue, they are tourist and they are incapable. They are incompetent to handle even some issues of common humanity. Then how do you describe them that they now the Kenya Kwanza government? First thing, let me ask. Ni nini hii watu wamewahi fanya and they can substantiate? Tell me today. Niambie tu mbele ya Mungu. Ni nini hii serikali ya William Ruto imewahi fanya? Tuka enjoy tukasema kwamba hii serikali imefanya vizuri. Mtu atakuja kusema kwamba ati unga imeshuka. Wewe uko na hiyo pesa 120 ama mia kwenda kununua hiyo unga. Ati petroli imerudi chini na 7 bob. Wewe uko na hiyo pesa? Kazi iko ya kwenda kununua hiyo petroli. Tusemezane ukweli. Wewe uko na hiyo pesa. So I think Kenyans we must come out to have a strategy to outwit these people. And if this is the kind of leadership we are going to have in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time for young men and women 
to come out and condemn this kind of leadership. We cannot have people who will stand before us, we as hustlers, when it will rebrand, we can say we hustlers. Then you are telling me that I should come out and vote for them. It is now time that we must focus to those leaders who will understand our problems. Not those people who are just going there to understand their own problems. By the way, watch and wambi. Umejua watoto hawa wasomi hata hapa nchini. Watoto wetangu la wasomi hapa. Watoto wa William Ruto umewahi ona mahali. Si ni shalendo unaona akirumro. Tusemezani ukweli. It is the heart. now it is the time for us as young youths or young men and women to come out and say but now see see we as young people huwa tunadanganywa sana na adults mtu anakupea 50 year mmoja unasema ah ba sui jamaa ndiataleta maendeleo i will repeat here na nakumbuka nimewahi sema hapa mimi sitawahi kuvutia because umenipea pesa Sita kuvutia kwa sababu umenipea pesa. I will vote because I know you have an agenda. I don't care your money. But the problem we have in this country ni hana. Utasikia 2027 nikifika, utasikia tu. Oh nimewaacha milioni tano hapo, nimewaacha milioni kumi hapo, nimewaacha milioni ishirini hapo. Alafu sasa machache sio wanaanza kuanza ile upusi yao. Mimi siogopi nasema upusi. Wanaanza ile upusi. Oh mpaka wanaanza kwa advertise William Ruto on the screens. You know, oh, this is the anointed one. Oh, let me tell you, Kenyans, to me danganyo ya kutosha. Wa jinga wa meisha Kenya hii. And this is the time that we must come out and reason out. We cannot accept such kind of tourists leading our country. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen?